Y'all happy Saturday. So I am about to have a chill, uh, no kids, no husband Saturday. Okay. And, and that is a big deal because sometimes it's very hard as a mom and as a wife and as a business owner to be able to have time to yourself. And so look a little crazy right now. I actually just went to the gym. Um, I decided to sign up for a membership and I'm very excited that one of my clients continued to post her consistency because that really motivated me to do something that I wanted to do a long time ago. But I think that being part of a health community for eight years and being so used to how they do their workouts and how I was uh, facilitating classes pretty much three times in the morning from four, five, and 6 a.m. and sometimes in the evening, I became very accustomed to the way that that gym was ran. And then I end up moving about 35 miles one way out of the city, which meant that since November 2019, I have not been a part of those workouts. Maybe outside of visiting my mom, spending the night out there, and then going literally one time. <laughs> so needless to say, uh, pandemic hit and then we were working out at home in the living room and then I would start going to the gym in my home community but I started to recognize that I really missed the community in terms of working out because the community really pushed me and I like to take the mental effort out of trying to create my own workouts a lot of the time okay unless I am facilitating the class that was more fun because now I'm making it fun for other people so needless to say I went ahead and did a free class today burned almost 500 calories, went ahead and signed up because my health is my wealth. And now I'm about to actually go upstairs, help my kids get packed, bathed, they're going to get a haircut with their dad. And then they're gonna actually stay in LA tonight because my husband is gonna be celebrating his birthday with his cousins, all the guys. So that means that your girl got all Saturday and maybe a little bit of Sunday to herself. So I don't plan on working on any emails, funnels. I've turned off my Slack notifications for my team. They are not gonna turn back on until Monday at 7 a.m. because I got a meeting at 8 a.m. So I really want to start practicing more of the self-care. And if I feel like it, I'm gonna tap into like creativity. So for example, right now I'm vlogging my weekend but those things are fun to me and I would really want to do more of it, but sometimes I can't due to other family or business obligations. And so some people may from the outside looking in say, dang, you know, you still working, but that might be work to you because that may not be your genius zone or your hobby. Like my hobby is setting up my planner. My hobby is not deep clean in my house, but I do like to organize it because that makes me feel relaxed, right? Um, so there are certain things that I may do that from the outside looking in, it looks like work, but those are the things that I like to do. Nevertheless, I'm gonna go ahead and get my week started. I'm gonna go upstairs and get these, uh, well, my youngest son a bath and let's see what we're gonna do on my Saturday. All right, so I have a change of plans. I'm still going out, but I decided to put together my new dresser. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like in my corner. I used to have like a square cube collax area um, and that worked for so long, but now I have, uh, I wanna organize my dresser in my room just a bit more. And now I was finally able to find the dresser because it was definitely on back order. So let me uh, show you. So this is the Ikea dresser that I have been waiting on and it is five drawers. I really like the frosted look right here. And then the drawers are very, very deep. Um, I don't know if you can really like see how deep they are. Um, but what I'm going to do is use these inserts that I purchased. And this is like a longer dresser that we have. Like uh, it's six drawers and me and my husband share those drawers. However, 
um, we need more space because the walk-in closet in this house is small compared to like the home that we had before this and so we really have to condense some stuff leave some stuff in tubs downstairs and really swap out our clothes during the season but it really prevents us from being able to even store new clothes and a lot of shoes and so um, I'm gonna show you these um, inserts so um, I already unpackaged it so it comes like this, like you fold it out, it pops up like that. And then they have little pictures of how you can use it from Ikea. So you can use it in twos, threes. And then if I needed more dividers, I believe I can probably, maybe if I was doing socks or something, um, I can do it like that. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna play around with it. I'm not sure exactly outside of like undergarments, what's gonna go in here but I bought like some for me and some for my husband. So he put this drawer together for me cause he knew I would be chilling at home by myself uh, today cause they're going down to LA. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get this stuff together. You definitely <laughs> do not want to see the other side of this room cause it looked like a hot mess because the other thing that I had here storing our clothes or my clothes, um, like, you know, just socks and stuff like that. It, it was here and like the little pull out uh, cubes. Uh, just because again, we couldn't get our hands on our furniture that we actually liked over the last two years without it being like a six month delay. So super excited I found these at Ikea online because the last time that I did the, um, when I did the living room about a month ago, they were sold out. So super excited about to get ready and put the little cubes together and I'll let you see it from, um, you know, at the end. Okay, so I finished uh, cleaning up this area. So um, what I did is just clean up my jewelry. Um, it's two layers, got this from Home Goods, and just kept this water in here. And then I cleaned out these drawers. So this is pretty much like my workout shirts, my regular shirts, and like my camis. And then this drawer here, I actually brought these from the hallway. Finally, they can fit into this room. These are all my workout pants or just lounge pants. And then down here I have room, but these were shorts that I kept in the hallway during, uh, you know, off season, but it's hot right now. And then some dresses. And then here is the new dresser. So I actually need to redo this vision board. This was like from last year, um, but I just like waking up to the vision because some of these, most of these things actually manifested, but um, like that one did not, right? Amen, Ava, wanna have a girl. Um, so brought this up from the office downstairs. This is my Bath and Body Works and essential oil station, my pretty little flowers, uh, perfume. And then in here, um, I'm not gonna open up these drawers, but it has the separators and you can kind of see them right there. So I have like undergarments, socks, and then I love that they're deep because I was actually able to um, fit in all of my t-shirts. Now I have recognized that I definitely don't wear all of these t-shirts, but when I'm lounging around the house, you know how you kind of just like keep washing every week and you recycle the, th the same shirts over and over again. I probably need to put those on rotation. These are our cute little family Mickey Mouse shirts that we did not wear last year simply because they got here too late, but we plan on wearing them this year. And then down here is my pajama drawer and I got rid of a lot of pajamas. So I'm still looking crazy. Uh, decided not to shower yet because I don't like cleaning up the house, sweating, going back and forth. I, we live in a tri-level home. So I actually cleaned out a lot and some clothes I separate and give them to like some of our teenage family members, but then there are certain clothes like my workout clothes, I'm just gonna throw those away. Um, or cleaning out, you know, undergarments, old socks, you know, get rid of all that stuff because also you won't be able to manifest the things that you want unless you get rid of the things that you no longer use. And so my biggest rule is out of sight, out of mind. If I have not worn it in over a year, odds are, unless it's more memorable, I'm not gonna wear it. So I decided to let go of not that much because I pretty much go on a spring cleaning binge every six months, but I pretty much cleared out the bed. The only thing I need to do is take some of these things to my younger son's room because we found, I found some gift cards and things that I was hiding from them because if they were in their rooms from their birthdays, then they will probably be for real lost. And so happy that I found those. So that would be exciting. We can use those like for the spring and the summer if they wanna go to the store, um, but gonna finish cleaning up. Oh, I wanted to also show you um, this, uh, cabinet 
So initially this is where all of my workout clothes were because also it was easier to come outside the room. I didn't want to wake nobody up. So I cleaned this out. I'm probably gonna put some shoes or sandals down there, but I need to do another day for the closet because that's a whole nother situation. It is mostly just like reorganizing my clothes, but I like the way I was able to put my jeans in here. I don't own as many jeans anymore. I gave a lot of them away, like over 50 pair of true religion jeans and seven jeans like two years ago to uh, my husband's little cousins. And I just have not been in the mood. And then, you know, pandemic, we weren't going anywhere. So I really wore like, you know, like little joggers and stuff like that. So these are all the jeans that I own. And then I have some white jeans. Usually that's where I go for Fashion Nova. These are things down here that I did not send back to Fashion Nova. So I'm kind of stuck with them and I don't like them. So I'll figure out somebody to give those to. But this is an overview of our uh, spring cleaning. All right, so I decided to go ahead and get dressed. Initially, it was so freaking hot outside. It's 100 degrees that I just wanted to chill under the air conditioner and find something on Netflix. But then I actually need to go to the mall while no one is here to go look for my husband a birthday gift. And so um, I look kind of crazy right now with my hair. Um, I'm actually going to put on a new headband that I purchased uh, actually when we were in Hawaii. And I really haven't had an outfit to wear with it because to me it requires either all white or maybe nude or just straight up jean and you'll see why. So let me actually show you the headband. Okay, so here's a headband. It's gonna go with some shoes that I got. So it is a denim headband, got the little emblem oh. <laughs> right here. And we're actually gonna see how it goes. So I have on some dark blue jeans. I'm gonna put on this uh, pink low cardigan because even though it's hot outside, when I'm walking around in stores, it's not as hot. So I'm gonna put this on and then see what happens. All right, so looks pretty cool. It, it's weird. It, it feels like this is supposed to like come down, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like two-tone, but here's my look here. I'm in my office bathroom. <laughs> um, Hair is looking okay. It actually stayed curled even with me going to a workout because I ended up putting my spiral curls in. Ooh, the air conditioner is hella loud. But nevertheless, gonna put on my shoes, uh, pack my purse, and then head to South Coast Plaza. All right, so made it to South Coast Plaza. And I'm going to first go into to see that they have. Um, one of the things that I like about Saks and Bloomingdale's is that they have multiple things from various designers. So come shop with me. so that I can finally make it over here to the container store. I am super excited. This store makes me feel abundant, y'all. Hey, y'all, so I'm in the container store. This is my first time here. This place is real dangerous because look where I'm at. So I'm in the closet section. This is definitely some closet goals, but cannot have this in my current home, but I love this finish. It actually matches the living room not too dark, not too light. And I love that they have the built-in shelves for your shoes, for your purses. And then similar to Ikea, because we did have one of these at our old house, um, pretty much like two of these, um, is you can pretty much build it based off of what your needs are. 
So you know how I love organization. So I'm really loving just all of these things. This is my first time actually being able to come into the store without my family because I knew that I would want to walk around and go slow. But this can be dangerous. <laughs> Hey, what's up y'all? So I am back, I am comfortable, I am in my home office and had a good time at South Coast Plaza Mall. Definitely couldn't get everything uh, on the camera specifically because I was so busy being excited for the things that I was able to find in Sephora, the container store, which is, uh, the container store is actually across the street from the South Coast Plaza Mall, but it's kind of connected with the bridge, but just cho chose to draw you over there because the mall was closing up. And then I was able to get my husband's birthday gift. And so first I wanna show you some things that I got from Sephora. I'm a really big advocate for therapists being able to take care of themselves. And today was really a self-care day for me. So, you know, the gym, cleaning up my home, chilling on the couch for a little bit, uh, cooking some lunch, some shrimp and some french fries, then headed out and got dolled up and dressed, and then came back home to just be, right? So definitely had a good time at Sephora. So grabbed a lot of the things that I was pretty much out of or that I'm about to be out of. Um, I like Rihanna's line. And so one of the things that I um, stocked up on was the um, Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen, the Fenty Skin. So got another one of these. I had the travel one and I used to have this and then I always forget that you can replace the inside and I always throw away the full thing, which sucks when I can just buy a refill. And you can see right here, you can like get the refill and just put it in the bigger part. So I now have this back because I had a travel one, but I, I knew that I would be out of that one fairly soon. Then I'm halfway through this one, but I don't plan on going to Sephora anytime soon because I don't go to the mall a lot these days. I rather order things online. So I love her Fenty Skin Total Cleanser. It definitely takes all of my makeup off. Let's see, it's pretty big. Um, one of the things that I have learned when getting facials is that it's best, especially during the last two years, where in California we pretty much were just released of wearing a mask is that my cheeks, my face broke out a lot. And so after about three to four months of being able to get facials again, my face cleared up, but the, um, the fa I can't ever pronounce that name, esthetician, whatever, but the facial person had told me that it's best to clean my face two times. So maybe you already know that, I did it because I don't even wear that much makeup. And so she said the first time you're doing it, you're just taking the makeup off. The second time you're doing it, you're actually cleansing your face. And so at nighttime, I use this one. In the daytime uh, morning, because clearly I don't have on makeup, I'll use my Herbalife Aloe Cleanser just to like soothe my skin. And then every other day I use the exfoliating scrub. So then again, I have the travel size. So I decided to get the toner bigger size and this honestly <laughs> because you don't want to put too much on a um, I'm gonna say a little cotton ball cloth that I use and so this can probably last me a little over three months probably more than that to be honest because I don't use it that much I mean I use it every day but I don't use a lot of it at the same time uh, then I was able to get the pro filter the hydrating primer that I can put on before put on my makeup so um, this is the soft silk kind and I love her packaging too so this is the bigger one and I had just ran out right before I had traveled to I think Atlanta so what I ended up doing is just buying the travel one because I knew that we weren't necessarily gonna check a bag in when we went to Atlanta and then I knew I would buy the big one later so got that. They did not have my 420 um, foundation. So they have it near, closer to my home at the regular Sephora store, not in the mall. So I probably need to head out there tomorrow or sometime next week. I have time. I'm not completely out, but I definitely don't want to run out because I love her foundation. And then I decided to go on the Sephora side and get some makeup. So... I ran out of uh, the translucent uh, Laura Mercier powder. So 
again, bought a little one right before I left town and realized like, oh wait, my bigger one is totally empty. So got one of those. And then I decided to spoil myself and get some lipsticks that are more like lip gloss lipsticks. They're not like the matte kind, but I like to say in the pink nude tones. So this one is Fearless and this is Sephora's brand. So this is Fearless. This is Rise Up. And this one is Rise Above. So they're, they're pretty similar. But I put what I do is I put them on my, um, I put them on my hand because I did not want to put them testers on my face. <laughs> so, um, and then I was matching it up with the liners. And so I end up getting three liners. I used to have this liner a while ago. So this liner is called Wild at Heart. It's like a, Pink lavender color mixed. Uh -oh. And then I have like a brown color called Rosewood, number 15. So it looks actually darker on the screen than what it actually is. It's probably like a little darker than my skin. And then the last one is Bellflower, number 25. So again, kind of going with the, the lipsticks. So those are my items for from Sephora. And then, let me put all this stuff up. All right, so went to the container store. I honestly have only been to the container store one time because they don't have any remotely near where I've lived. And so um, every time that I wanna go, when I go to the mall, we e either are at the mall and then I get tired and I'm just completely ready to go home because it's like a 45 minute drive from our house or we have the kids and I know that my sons are either sleepy, they're hungry, they're cranky, and that is not a store that I wanna rush through. Now, I will say that that is a store that you need to mentally go prepared for what you're looking for because it's too many containers, right? But it just gave me a good understanding of what was there and I can look up the stuff online, clearly order it online, get it shipped to the house. Um, but I, you know, saw a lot of things that I usually post on Instagram, which is like my reels about refrigerator organization, things in my closet and so forth. But I was able to find some good stationery. So one of the things that I used to have, and I um, I don't have it anymore, I just did not order it on Amazon, was like my yearly calendar. So I got this uh, pill and stick calendar. It comes with four different colors. Um, they're all blank. So they have like a teal with green, here you can see the colors here, um, pink, orange, and gray. And so what's nice is these are dry erase wall pops. Um, you literally, I'm, I'm guessing they, oh, you peel them and you put them on the wall. Now I'm really hoping that these will stick. So I'm gonna need to do this probably tonight or tomorrow because if it doesn't stick to this wall and it falls off in 24 hours, like if I put it up and then it falls down by tomorrow, I'm taking them back because I purchased something like this similar probably four or five years ago on Amazon. It was in our old home and it was, I think six months. And I was like, wow, this would be great because the boxes are big enough versus the yearly calendar, the boxes like that little. So I really can't write anything in them, but these I can and they're dry eraser. And so the other ones actually fell off the floor. I mean, fell off the wall even before I was able to like go back, like leave the office. And I'm like, what the heck? That's like 30 minutes. So I'm um, gonna try these and see what it do. Um, one of the things that I've recognized too is that um, our youngest son, his school will send us uh, special days that they have in terms of dress, color code, spirit week. And sometimes we'll forget what the day is um, in terms of like, the special day and so it's hard to keep up there's a lot of schedules in this house and so i decided to get a dry eraser magnetic board that can go in the refrigerator so as soon as we see it pop up on our phone my husband or i we can actually just draw it out for that particular week so if we know that monday is where crazy hair day like they just had this past friday but he ain't got no hair here boy um if he was a girl i guess it would be just not smoothing the ponytail out but we would have wrote that on friday for him so um, excited to have this on the fridge. And then, I don't know if you can see my vision board, but I ran out of the push pins. And so I got these, these were actually on sale for like $8. I think the regular price was 10, but I like them because they're neutral. They did have some that kind of went with the color scheme of the calendar, but 
I just like, I like the nude, um, the nude and the brown. So it comes with 150, that's a lot. So that's clearly way more than what my vision board holds, but at least I'll have them. And then got some cute stationery. So this is from Poppin. I remember ordering them years ago when they first came out, like on Staples, fell in love with them. And then I bought all the things like for my old office set, but then clearly I changed colors. But I've been looking for a pair of scissors that kind of goes with my brand colors and just the office. So really cute pink scissors. And then of course, for all my dry eraser board stuff, got some more spray. And lastly, I got some poppin' pink pens that goes with the scissors. And so I'm excited. Got my husband's birthday gift. Um, now I'm not as excited to see this side of the office that you can't see because I definitely need to clean up. I don't think it's been fully cleaned since I redid the desk, meaning I moved the other desk out of here and moved it upstairs. Um, it's like a frosted glass. And so we were actually able to use it as a dining room table repurposing and I got a new movable desk and then I have some Ikea items. And then I also just got delivered um, one, two, two dressers, like two uh, five, five drawer Chester drawers from Ikea. And then I also had four of, I don't know what they're called, but they basically can go like on the side of my desk. I can put shoes on there, purses on there, but I can also put books on there. But we got four of them because my husband will probably use two for his shoes and then I'll use two for a mix of things in the office. But needless to say, he thought that he was done putting things together uh, after like two weeks ago. And then he comes home yesterday with both of our boys and it was like eight boxes and I was like, let's have fun. So he was able to put my dresser together last night because I was at, I told him I'm gonna be home all day. I know how excited I am to be able to like organize the room. And, and I've been waiting on those dressers for like months and months and months. And so I told him, I want to do my dresser. So I know you can't put together two before you leave and go out, but can you put together mine? So he did and clearly that's what I did today. So I'm gonna straighten up a little bit. Um, depending on where my spirit calls me, I may end up recording one or two podcast episodes that are audio only, um, specifically because I, I was supposed to record three yesterday and then I end up recording one live because I received a download that said that somebody needed that message with being able to see your face as well live. So I'm actually gonna go and look at those analytics to see how that went in terms of people being able to go back and watch the replay. But I'm going to record two other episodes for the audio podcast because I am on a mission to publish a certain amount of podcasts by the end of October because I really want November and December to be wrap up, debriefing about the first, second, third quarter. What are our plans for the rest of the fourth quarter by Thanksgiving, usually December 10th. And then December 15th, we are shutting it down again. We did it very well last year, but then your girl popped up and decided to have a sale on something. Um, but it did really well. I got 14 students in my program, offering them entrance into our program before the price went up. And so they were very appreciative because some people were on our list for like a year or two, just waiting. And then I was like, you can wait all you want, but if you join in January, the price will go up. And some people were like, I'll just wait till the price goes up because I can't do it right now. That's fine. But needless to say, I want to be done with new stuff in my brain by the end of October, meaning we are pushing it out only. We are launching it in November. We are closing up launches, if any, by December. And the only thing that really opens up at that time of year is our mastermind that starts in January. So outside of identifying who's gonna be part of the mastermind, going through the application, selecting candidates, determining what alumni are renewing and securing their spot, that's pretty much all we have for the fourth quarter anyway. So I'm gonna get to this office and straighten up while I wait on my um, my fishbowl from BJ's to arrive through DoorDash. So yep, yeah. all right.